<laughs> so this is where we boondocked last night guys we decided to just go right on the water forget up on the hills all the top five boondocking spots we showed just right on the water and obviously last night all the vehicles eventually went and there was just us left so yeah that's all it takes guys Astoria right here and uh, there was no e-tram. The diesel tram didn't show up last night. All right, guys, we made it. Four-wheel drive <laughs> with the truck camper. <laughs> what do you guys think with the heavy camper, 13,000 pounds? Oh yeah. There's the beach. With my 80 PSI in those tires, I don't know about that. Seaside. This is Seaside, guys. Seaside, Oregon. We're gonna head down the path here or there or the city streets. Follow along. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the ride. Ocean. Oh, yeah. Damn. Here's a good boondocking spot. <laughs> Only between six and eleven. See, he's got to figure it out. Boondocking. Ocean, guys. No wetsuits here. All right, there's Dr. G's learning Goofy right now. All right, good job, just for the first sesh. This is boondocking spot right here, guys. This is ultimate. Look at this spot right here. Right to the boardwalk. She's still doing goofy. Goofy. Oh yeah guys, look at this prime spot. Nice, switch direction. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the beach volleyball, the seaside beach volleyball this weekend in Seaside. It's the second largest beach volleyball event in the world, apparently. And you can see they're all getting set up here for the, the nets and the system. And uh, right on the beach here in Seaside, Oregon. And then you can see the food stuff going on. There's lots of people everywhere. And uh, yeah. Oh, I, should, I gotta one wheel these rails here. Let's watch this. Oh yeah, bam. Look at this dude. Yeah, buddy. A little two stroke. <laughs> or green light, I mean. There it is. Seaside, Oregon. Yeah, we did. We made a scene, yo. 
mid scene. Dr. G says it was cool. <laughs> small that one it's a female it's a female anyway uh, i was just seeing how big it was yeah yeah can you catch anything good here ever one, one? one. nice had a couple over there that were just a hair too small a bit. yeah a good little spot throw her throw her over and you got some neighbors doing it too yeah. please please you're right No. <laughs> oh, just a bucket. We got it. We got. Oh, they got the meat prepped. Yeah, that's full of some some good chicken. It's chicken. Oh yeah. Think you're gonna get any crabs with that? Like maybe small, like of size ones. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Where are they right now? Or they're not here? Oh. Hmm. What's going on, Marcel? Well, there's a surfer walking by. We're, good thing we didn't block the path completely. Yeah, so look at this sweet that's spot. Room to get by. He's hanging out with my buddy, the sign. <laughs> it says parking prohibited, <laughs> 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. It's kind of impeding your view, though, huh? Well, when I sit like this, it's all right. You see the neighbors, but yeah, that sign, huh? So we know why that sign's here. That sign is because of the homeless problem oh. that used to be here. When every vehicle, if you look down here, every vehicle would have been a homeless RV person for not one night, two nights, three nights, seven nights, then garbage spewing out and dumping and the whole beach becomes unusable for the surfers and everybody else and disgusting and homeless beach why why has this happened well it's getting a lot worse over the you know the democrat liberal run obviously they send all the money to ukraine for proxy wars but don't help anybody here don't control the situation so that's why that sign is there is because the homeless would were taken over not for not for me the friendly canadian um the friendly Canadian Spider-Man dude <laughs> for like, you know, traveling the coast, spending money, all that U.S. money. Yeah. 